Hey guys, today I would like to show you how I modified my Phantom 3 standard controller to support part number 38 used on Phantom 3 Advanced and Professional model remote controls to so hold a phone or tablet. Now the standard controller comes with a support that holds to your smartphone but not a tablet. So I looked online for a tablet support and found one that I bought on eBay for around 10 bucks. After I got it and mounted it onto the controller, I realized that the aluminum post was too short and it would always interfere with the controller's antenna or sometimes I couldn't reach the switches S1 or S2 depending on which side of the remote the uh, support was installed. Therefore, I decided to modify my controller to conveniently attach my iPad mini tablet in the middle of my controller as advanced and professional models come standard from uh, DJI. Few things we will need before starting. First, remove the original support and holder that came with the controller. Then, we need to take all four screws on the bottom of the controller using a Phillips screwdriver. Notice that the two top screws will need a longer screwdriver to be removed. Once all four screws are removed, gently open the remote from the charging port. Inside, you'll find three cables that need to be disconnected. Now take your time when disconnecting these cables so that you don't mess up any of the connections. And over here I'm taking the um, uh, battery connection. I already took the uh, charging connection. And lastly, uh, if you can see, there's a cable um, all the way at the middle that I'm trying to uh, take apart. That seemed to uh, come out a little bit harder, but eventually I got it out. There you go. After removing the last cable, try to jiggle the uh, bottom part left and right and it'll come out and you can separate the top and bottom. Uh, put the bottom uh, aside because it will be focusing only on the uh, top part. Now as you can see right there in the middle where the red cables are, um, that's where the um, hole is going to be made. And we have to take those um, cables uh, out and uh, later on we'll reroute them. Okay over here I'm taking the uh, cables out they're only held with some uh, silicone glue so you can gently take them out. Over here I'm taking the support apart because I'm going to use only the uh, bottom part that will be screwed in to the remote um, to kind of get an idea to where um, I need to screw in so I'm taking measurements and then I'm transferring them onto the remote and um, trying to find the middle of the um, remote so that I can drill the hole. Now I'm just dry fitting the support to see if it aligns with the uh, mark that I've made for the hole. And it looks okay. So the next step it would be to um, drill the hole. So I'm using over here a um, really small bit. Uh, I believe it's a 1 8 uh, drill bit. And I'm really going slowly because I don't want to damage any cables, especially the uh, cable for the um, antenna. So I'm going really slowly over here and taking my time and trying to take the um, or to move the cables around. And that's exactly where the uh, bit is going to come out. And now I'm thinking that maybe I can take the uh, switches out. And uh, they're really simple to take out. You just have to unscrew. Um, the, um, there's a nut that holds them in place and um, there you go that's the uh, S2 that I'm taking out and um, I'll do the same thing for the S1 and after I'm taking them out um, I'll try to um, tuck them under the um, receivers the, the, the remote antenna and then uh, move, them, move them towards the bottom of the controller so they're not in the uh, in the way and kind of have uh, that space where the drill is going to come out uh, free. Um, before I put them away, um, I'm marking with a pencil on the um, uh, on the switches which one is switch number one and which one is switch number two. And you'll see it in a second that uh, on one of them I'm doing only a uh, marking a line, and on the second one I'm marking two lines so I know which one is S1 and which one is S2. This is S2. And then, as you can see on the other one, that's only one line, so that's the S1. And as I said, I'm trying to go underneath the um, um, antenna 
and then kind of pull them back towards the bottom and this way I'll have uh, plenty of, of uh, clearance so I can come out with a drill bit on the other side and uh, continue with the hole. I'm using a um, cutting pliers that I need to trim a little bit of the plastic where the um, drill bit came out so um, I have some space over there and now I'm using a um, long nose pliers to uh, kind of just twist that plastic, kind of rip it and um, it'll come out and it's just a small piece as you can see and then I'm doing the same thing on the other side so it it look like a U shape in the end and uh, now I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see the support if it aligns and um, it seems to uh, seems to be okay uh, I have to make the hole a little bit uh, larger so now I'm probably going with a um, six uh, with nine sixty four uh, drill bit and I'm gonna go up um, slowly increasing the size um, all the way to uh, a 3 8 inch uh, drill bit and, uh, I'm uh, drilling a little bit and then I'm fitting it again see how it looks um, and uh, I still have to drill a little bit because that part that I'm showing right now has to go in therefore I'm using a larger drill bit now and um, I'm just making sure that everything is okay and um, I'll also have to cut a little bit more of the plastic and that's what I'm doing right now uh, eventually in there um, a, a washer is going to uh, sit there and it's going to be um, epoxied in place and um, I'm thinking that I need to remove a little bit more so that it can sit better in there and um, now I'm going you don't have to but I've used a chisel just so that I um, plan the surface after I've cut the uh, plastic and over here if you can see it's right under the lip I'm kind I'm trying to cut away um, some of the plastic it's right between the flat uh, side of the um, remote control and then the wall the small wall that you can see that that's the plastic uh, what I'm trying to do here is put the uh, washer right under that wall so it has a little bit of, of a support and it, it also is going to push it down so it stays in place and um, it'll give me just the uh, perfect fit before I epoxy it in place and it'll, it'll really make for a strong um, support for the tablet support and you can see here that um, that will be the um, actual uh, uh, position of the washer there and um, now I'm just making like a v-shape for the uh, switches cable to uh, reroute them back uh, remember before they were in the middle where the um, uh, uh, support is going to come so now I'm just trying to put them closer to the um, uh, Wi-Fi antennas and I'm, I'm making a V um, kind of like groove and then uh, again using my, my, my pliers I'm just twisting the excess uh, plastic to make a V shape for the um, cables to um, stay and eventually I'll be um, hot gluing them in place and they'll stay perfectly there and as you can see I'm fitting them in the groove putting it under the um, antenna as it was before making sure that the lines the markings that I've done that I've made earlier um, are the same as for um, the switches so I know where they all go now I'm repeating the same procedure on the left side of the controller so I can fit the uh, S1 switch and it's the same process and over here as you can see I'm hot gluing them in place so they'll never interfere with the uh, with the new support now putting back the, uh, the switches really simple to put back using a, a flat hat screwdriver doing the same thing on the other side now everything seems to be working perfectly now I'm hot gluing the um, washer just so that it'll stay and won't move around before I um, epoxy it and over here I'm this is a uh, two-tone epoxy it's a two-hour epoxy um, 
uh, making sure that it makes contact with the plastic and with the washer all the way around and um, you can definitely be generous over here because um, that'll be the, the, the support for the um, for the new tablet support and it won't make it won't let it wobble left to right uh, it'll really be sturdy make sure you're not putting epoxy on the uh, on the cables but try to cover as much as possible of the washer and the plastic around with the epoxy and they'll make for a really really strong joint I let the epoxy cure for um, about a day before I um, epoxy the uh, nut in place and when you let it uh, dry make sure that it's level if the remote is not leveled the epoxy um, it will start uh, moving towards the uh, middle of the controller and you don't want that hot gluing the uh, nut in place and I'm trying to take out the support um, so that the nut stays there and uh, so I can uh, epoxy it with the um, on the washer and again be generous with the amount of epoxy that you're using but be very careful not put it on the threads of the nut otherwise um, you'll have trouble later with the um, with screwing in the support so make sure that you pay extra attention not to put any epoxy on the threads and over here I'm putting some epoxy on top making sure that I don't put any on the threads and also making sure that I am um, putting epoxy on the uh, nut on the washer and on the plastic of the um, remote this will also give a concave um, feel between the uh, remote and the nut meaning that you won't be able to see just the uh, nut and the plastic it'll have a kind of like a layer of, of, um, of epoxy that will make this joint much stronger and um, over here I'm also I'm putting I'm applying the epoxy on the on the back and uh, as I said be generous with it uh, make sure that you cover the whole area around the nut and uh, on the washer and again after the uh, process is done I left it cure for um, another day just to make sure that everything was strong and this is how it looks all done as you can see I tried to cover as much as possible of the uh, plastic washer and nut try not to put anything on the threads and once it's all completed you have to put it back from the top try to put the uh, it has a notch that goes um, inside and try to push that all the way in and then the whole thing will kind of get itself in place and um, now you have to put back the uh, three cables and um, make sure that you put them back the same way they, they, they came out in the same orientation as you can see I'm trying to put the um, the middle connector back in place okay once that one is done then it's the um, the battery that I need to put it back in place now I'm connecting the battery making sure that everything is okay and finally the uh, connector for the charging port okay now it's time to put back the screws on the back of the remote make sure that everything is working and um, if it is then you're all good to go set up the um, the mount and um, first screw the top part of the mount into the um, nut that you've uh, you've installed and then I'm attaching the tablet support back making sure that the screw is, is snug in there so it won't move uh, up and down and uh, there you have it now it won't interfere with the uh, antenna it won't interfere with the um, uh, S1 or S2 switches and um, it, it's right in the middle of the uh, remote so there are a few pictures with my um, iPad mounted. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Thank you very much and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. Thank you so much.